In this video I'm going to test the actual capacity of rechargeable lithium batteries. So I've got these. Uh, these are the size of AA battery and the model number is 14500 and this one claims to have 1200 milliamp capacity at 3.7 volts. Now these are off-brand. Uh, this one is Skywolf I. It doesn't seem like a reputable brand. But these are made by Sanyo, the red ones. They don't have such a huge claim for capacity. This is a Sanyo and it says that the capacity here is only 740 milliamp hours. So uh, about half the capacity of the green ones. I'm going to put them in this charger. This is little Kala Engineer Lil 500. This currently costs less than 20 bucks on eBay. Without the power supply, it needs a 12 volts power supply in the back with standard plug. Uh, and the charger will show, will run a test, discharging, recharging the batteries, and will give us the actual capacity for each of these rechargeable batteries. Now these are the size of the AA and I have a AA to compare and the model 14500 comes from the size so it is 14 millimeter thick and I'm going to measure it right now. So this one's a little less than 14 and here is a 13.9 and the green ones are 14. Now and the length is 5 uh, centimeters which is 50 millimeters. Okay and notice that I'm using a plastic caliper. I don't want to short the batteries and I don't want to damage the caliper. This one has a flat top, positive very flat, so it's going to be a few uh, millimeters, a millimeter is shorter, so it's uh, 49.2 compared to the alkaline, which is which is going to be 50. Oops, there you go. This is 50.4 millimeter. I'm going to put them all in the charger and run a full cycle. Now the Sanios, because they have this flat top. They have to be raised up a little bit because the dimples on the charger, on the contacts, will not be able to connect to the positive. So I put these two rubber pads, little rubber pads, so this is raised a little bit and will have proper connector. Now you may ask, why do I need 3.7? Obviously you cannot replace double A's with these because the voltage is too high for most appliances, most things. However, when you have something that uses two or four, just like this little flashlight, it uses four AA batteries. So what I did is put a piece of foam in the two chambers so I don't put four batteries. And I put two lithium 3.7 and then in the cup here I made a bridge between these two so that way if this runs on Mm, instead of 6 volts coming from 4 AA alkalines, it runs on uh, about 7.5 volts. Is the flashlight running on 2 lithium batteries instead of 4 alkalines. Uh, I just like it that way. I found the lithium batteries to be uh, very convenient, small, and right now they are inexpensive. Now I'm going to run a full test on these batteries. So we go to the first one and I can see right away the internal resistance is 50 through 53 uh, milliohms. And I'm going to do a full test which, or R, which is full discharge and full charge. And the current I'm going to set 300 milliamps which is sufficient. Do the same on this one. Okay, and I choose the current to be 300, which is perfect. Now these are the Sanyos, and I'm going to do the same thing with that. Do a full test, 
and the current will be 300 milliamps which is sufficient and the fourth one will be the same so it's going to be full test with the current charging current 300 milliamps and I will see in a few hours uh, what's going on now the process of discharging and charging has ended and now we have the results and this is number four so let me just hit the button here and so we have 4.2 volts fully charged battery number four the process took three hours nine minutes and the capacity is 799 milliamp hours which is no greater than 740 stated on the battery so this was 740 milliamp hours this one is 799 so let's hit number three now this also has ended it's 4.19 volts uh, voltage on the battery and we have the 741 milliamp hours so compared to 740 state on the battery still pretty good the process took two hours 55 minutes and we go to these batteries and now reminder that these are supposedly 1200 milliamp hours which is a much bigger capacity than these two okay so let's hit button number two and find out so I have 4.2 volts but the capacity is whopping 194 milliamp hours so it's a thousand short of the stated 1200 uh, so you see what happens uh, on the cheap uh, batteries the statements will say that they have like 3000 milliamp hours and so on but the reality is very bleak now let's go to this one oh, and the whole process here took 46 minutes uh, because it's just a tiny capacity and also notice that the internal resistance of the battery is much higher these were 24 milliamps uh, milliamps rather and in this case uh, you have 112 milliamps of internal capacity and this is related to the current when you draw higher current for a moment the internal resistance will uh, lower the voltage on the output let's go to number one there you go a whopping 207 milliamp hours and the process took 49 uh, minutes here and uh, instead of 1200 uh, however the resistance is a little better so it's only 53 milliamps compared to 112 compared to 24 and 24 milliamps on these two Sanyo batteries uh, but you see the lie uh, this is it could be any number here doesn't matter uh, but the reality is that you have only uh, right here 207 milliamp hours and 194 milliamp hours well thank you for watching give a thumbs up if you like this video